Even if you're just outside of it, never leave your car running with the keys in it, especially if you have kids in it. Thank you for joining us on today's active self-protection lesson. I'm your host, John Correa. Today's video comes to us from Fort Myers, Florida in the United States. The new Mantis X10 firearms performance system has all the goodness of the original, plus holster draw analysis and recoil analysis. It's a fantastic upgrade and I recommend it highly. I've sped up the beginning for the sake of time. The car that's parked closest to the curb, they're just unloading bags to go you know, on a trip. Mom, dad, two kids, and grandpa. And as it slows back down, watch up the curb. You can see the guy with the hat on is gonna come in and he's actually just robbed a person on the inside of the concourse. Has already gone through security and then robbed somebody in there and now drives off with the baby in the car. Mom eventually talked him to letting her get out with the baby. They did catch him the next day. He's facing a huge host of charges. Let's watch it again as they're unloading baggage with their kids and those things. Dude jumps in their car without any warning. Mom is gonna muscle her way into the car and is not gonna let him get away before she gets her baby out. Again, police caught him the next day. He actually crashed the car a ways down the road after letting mom and baby out. Police did catch him and that's where this one ends. Crazy outcome. Thankfully, that mom was able to talk that carjacker into letting her out with her baby. If you want the too hot for YouTube stuff, join us on our premium Snapchat where you can get the stuff that you can't get anywhere else. No, I'm joking. I don't even have a Snapchat. I just want to know if you're paying attention. If you get the joke, let me know in the comments, would you? Let's think about lessons. First thing I wanna talk about here is the fact that the drop-off point in an airport is actually a very unlikely place of attack. This is not what I would call a transitional space. Number one, tons of security around. Number two, tons of police officers around. Number three, almost everything is under surveillance video 24 seven. And so people you know, uh, recognize that and the odds of a bad guy choosing that as a place to rob somebody are very few and very small chance because you know, he knows he's probably not gonna get away with it. This guy certainly didn't get away with it. In fact, our bad guy had already gone through TSA security, so they knew exactly who he was. He was a ticketed passenger on an airplane back to his home in Houston, and then came out of security after robbing and grabbing the wallet from an employee behind security, and people were chasing him and all that stuff. Now that said, people who are just absolutely, you know, bat guano crazy do bat guano crazy stuff, and so you have to be ready to protect your family at any time. It doesn't mean you're paranoid, it means that you know what's going on in your world and you know how to protect yourself and those that you love. Because these kinds of things even happen in places that you wouldn't expect. Now then, we're gonna see this family is just unloading the car and I get it, this is totally normal activity. That said, I can't tell you enough, take the keys out of the car. Don't leave a car running with the keys in it at any time because bad stuff can happen. Now notice that our bad guy walks up here and he's just looking for a vehicle to grab. And of course the vehicle that he's gonna grab is the one that's running. Now I will say this, you know, again, if you leave your vehicle with the keys in it and running and all those things, you make yourself susceptible to this kind of thing no matter where you are. See it more often at gas stations than at airports. Now, if you have a keyless system, you know, you got one of those new Bluetooth keys that the car will run with you outside it but won't go anywhere, then that ameliorates this problem. Still, I wouldn't leave the car running when you're not in it for situations like this. Now, notice how fast he's going to come up and just decide, I'm gonna take this car and he gives zero care to what's going on around him. That said, notice that mom is paying attention. And grandpa, I think that's the grandfather there as well, is doing so too. I don't blame dad for not seeing it here because he's got his head stuck in there trying to get the baby out of the car. But mom is paying attention, and as soon as something goes wrong with her car, and that's within a second or two of things coming, she decides to take action. And I think that's super admirable. Remember we say, paying attention buys you time, time buys you options. He could have easily been gone with her baby in the car, but she was paying attention. And when she was paying attention, she took action, and it looks like dad did too. Now then, you gotta recognize, you better be willing and ready to really turn that dimmer switch up to 11 and dial in and get after protect your loved ones. And I love the fact that she didn't stand there and have this normalcy bias and she didn't stand there and go, oh no, what am I gonna do? Instead, she said, somebody is jumping in the car with my child, I am going to take action. Now again, dad's looking and going, oh, am I gonna go stop the guy or am I gonna dive into the car? That's a tough decision to make in the moment, but mom gets in there with the car and, and is willing to get in there. Now that said, recognize that she's probably going on a plane trip in just a little bit. And so the chances of her having any force multiplier on her is almost nil here. Because of course, anything that she did have, whether she carried a firearm or not, whatever, is going to be packed away in her uh, checked luggage and secured and all those things. She doesn't have that because they've taken that stuff out. 
So this is another reason that number one, verbal judo, incredibly important. Number two, empty handed skills, if she needed them, incred incredibly important. Because this guy's facing aggravated assault charges. He's facing kidnapping charges, burglary charges, you know, grand theft auto charges, all kinds of stuff. But none of that's going to protect you in the moment. So you need to have significant empty handed skills. You need to have some significant ability to talk your way out of problems. Mom had enough ability to talk herself out of this problem. And the guy thankfully wasn't truly a kidnapper in his soul. So he let her go. But let's pay attention to our surroundings. Let's do some things that keep us from getting carjacked, like not leaving our keys in the car. And let's make sure we're paying extra special attention when we have our kids around to cover our ass.